definitely excited for this new experience. It's going to be the next chapter in my life. Tennis has definitely been a big thing in my life. Um, I've been playing it for over a decade, safe, uh, safe to say. I believe for the past two years, I took it up a notch. I played a lot of UTR tournaments, especially around California, um, up in Sacramento, all the way down to LA. Um, just this past summer, really to focus on my UTR and bring it up, because I believe that the UTR is what really catches the eye of these coaches nowadays. Um, so that was my main focus. But on top of that, it was really just getting on court and playing tennis basically every day um, just to improve my level, uh, improve my level, improve my game. And then the UTR kind of just reflected that. And as I was progressing, it would just show up. But it was really just putting in the effort every day. Uh, during the pandemic, my mom proposed the idea of homeschooling. And at first, I was kind of uneasy, not too sure if I wanted to do it or not. But I think during my time, what kind of helped me a little bit was it was the peak of COVID. So everything kind of transitioned to online. And I felt by doing like a pros and cons list with me and my family that doing a homeschool program would be better than, and I think it's been a, it's definitely been a big help to aiding with both my academics and tennis, because I, I feel like a big part of it was having my own schedule, being able to mold both my academics and tennis. Uh, so my brother started this organization a while back in 2015, but ever since he left for college, I kind of took or I took initiative and now it's definitely been a big thing. Um, we've helped over 700 trainers so far and have set a bunch of camps, over 15 um, seminars. So essentially what Pinoy Tennis Trainers aims to do is uh, educate these trainers and these aspiring coaches with the proper knowledge tennis wise to be coaches through the process i think definitely the most important qualities or valuable lessons that i learned was definitely time management coming in as a student athlete i had to manage both academics and tennis while also managing all the um we're talking to the coaches reaching out providing all the information that they needed taking tests before a certain due date, um, like standardized tests. So this all definitely takes planning um, and looking into the future and uh, or planning, yeah. I sports definitely played a big help. Um, I would say a massive help with profile building, presenting me as my best, best self to these coaches and definitely also giving advice with what the next step should be what I would have to review, take a step back with, and kind of uh, redo, but more with just presenting me as my best and showing the best qualities of myself to the coaches and to the schools. For me personally, coming in as a student athlete, the hardest part of this process or the biggest recommendation I can give you would be starting to reaching out to the coaches as early as possible because it gets harder and harder as or the later and later you get into the the process. So definitely start as soon as you can. Email, just cold turkey email, a bunch of coaches for the schools that you're reaching for. Tell them who you are, what you've been up to, and definitely just start a, start a connection as soon as possible because the connection doesn't form or it takes time to build a genuine, sincere bond between the coaches rather than just reaching out last minute and you don't really get the same. I'd like to thank both well, my whole family for all their support and everyone in Added Sports for all their, their help, especially you, Jessica. <laughs> you've definitely helped me from the start um, in every way you can. And also Akshay for just looking out and giving his best advice, namely everyone in Added Sports, really. I'm looking forward to the whole card college experience as a whole especially the tennis aspect, meeting my new teammates, getting ready for tournaments and just the whole new bonding experience. It's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Hi, I'm Sebastian and I'm going to Carnegie Mellon.
I'm dreaming big. Are you?